Let's try to understand what is an even function, what is an odd function, and what is neither of the two. Well, this question says determine whether the function is even, odd, or neither. Now, first thing, a function is even. Can you tell me when? Well, a function is even if we have, let me give you here. So we say f of x is even. When is it even? It is even when f of minus x is equal to f of x. Then it is even. An even function is symmetric about y-axis. Correct? For example, if I have something like this, a kind of a parabola, let us say, or like, like this, right? So it is symmetric about y-axis, right? So when you see graphically, a function like this or like this will be even because they're symmetric about y-axis. Okay. And when is a function odd? We say f of x is odd if f of minus x is equal to minus of fx, right? So these odd functions, they have what kind of symmetry? The odd functions normally have a symmetry about the origin. The functions which are odd are normally are like 1 over x is the odd function, correct? And then you can have line is the odd function. If you see these functions, they are symmetric about this point, the origin, okay? All these odd are odd functions, right? So these are the odd and these are even functions. If this is, neither of this is true, then the function is neither odd nor even. So the strategy to figure out whether a function is even or odd is to find out what is f of minus x, right? Now, another way of doing it is like this. You just figure out what is f of minus x. If f of minus x is same as fx, then it is even. But if it is negative of that, then it is odd. Okay, so that is how we have to figure out whether it's even or odd. So with this in mind, let's start working on our problems. So first one is g. So what we will do, first step is we'll try to find what is g of minus x. Is it okay? g of minus x means that you'll replace all x with minus, correct? So if I do so, I get here minus x minus 1 whole square. Is it okay? Now I could write this as... I can take minus common, right? And then I can write x plus 1. Do you see that? Whole square, correct? Within that bracket, right? Now, square of a negative quantity is positive, right? So I get x plus 1 whole square. Do you see? I don't get x minus 1 whole square. So it is not even, correct? It is not same as g of x, correct? nor it is minus x plus 1. If it was minus x plus 1, maybe, then I could have got, if this minus could have come out somewhere, it was minus of x minus 1, then it could have been odd, but it's not that also. So this says, when it is like this, so you know, because they're different, right? They're not same, correct? There's minus here and plus here. So this one is neither. Correct? We can also figure out this graphically. As I was showing you here, this looks like an even function, and I've seen students making huge mistakes. They just see it, and they don't really get into these details, but try to get that answer, thereby making a mistake. Here it is, right? How will you draw this? x minus 1 whole square. x squared is a function like this, right? Which is even, right? But when I say minus 1, then I move x that function x square one unit to the right and therefore the function becomes like this. Do you see that? Now this function is not symmetric about y-axis. Its line of symmetry shifts and the line of symmetry is x equals to 1, not 0. Do you see that? Since it is not symmetric to y-axis, it is not even. Do you see that? So, if it was x squared minus 1, it would have been even, right? 
Now let's look into this function. So we will follow the same strategy here also. So the first step is always to find what is f of minus 1. So f of minus x is equals to, so we replace x with minus x, we get 2 sine of minus x minus 5 of minus x, right? Do you know what is sine of minus x? Sine of minus x is minus sine x, correct? Sine of minus x is in, sine will be in fourth quadrant, right? So if you compare it with the sine function in the first quadrant, it is negative, right? So it is 2 of minus 2 because of this minus, right? Sine x. And this minus and minus will become plus, right? So we get plus 5x. Now, we can take minus common. If I take minus common, I'll end up with 2 sine x. The sine will change, right? Minus 5x. As you can see, the inside function here is same as f of x, right? So we'll end up getting minus of f of x, right? Now since f of minus x is equal to minus of f x, right? If you do minus of this, right? What do you get? You get this, right? <laughs> minus of this. So minus of f x. Therefore, we say that this function is odd. So that's an odd function, correct? So sine function, you can see if you want to graph it. So basically, sine function is like this, correct? If you see that part, it is kind of symmetric. It is symmetric about origin, right? The sine function is an odd function, correct? Now, can you tell me other trigonometric functions, whether they are even or odd? For example, if I say cos x, right? So how will you say cos x is? So let me give some examples here and let's figure out whether they're odd or even. So we say cos x, right? If we have cos x, right, it is even or odd. What is cos of minus x? So we say, well, let's test it out. So we say cos of minus x is equals to cos x, right? They are equal, correct? So they are even functions, right? Cos is an even function. How about tan x? We say tan x, right? Think about tan of minus x. So tan of minus x is actually equals to minus of tan x. Is that okay? So this one is an odd function, like sine, right? So in trigonometric functions, you will see sine is an odd function, tan is an odd function, and cos is even function. Is that okay? Now, let me also give you some examples here. We saw the parabola, right? An even parabola will be something like this something like this where the transformation could be up and down right for example like this this is an even function do you see this is kind of an even function do you see that so if there is a transformation up and down right then the parabola remains even but if there's a transformation where it goes left and right that means horizontal translation then it is not a even function okay so examples of even functions if you are considering here, will be like, uh, uh, you can say x squared minus 1. So it goes up and down. Do you see that? That could be even, right? So not when we translate it left and right. So this could be even, right? Even a function where we have degrees even, like 4x to the power of 2. May You may write 3 or minus 6, right? This will be an even function because all the degrees are even, right? Here also, I don't write any x here, but if there is an x, there is always, it is with 0. So, so it's an even degree, correct? If you want to write a, I mean, a polynomial, which is uh, odd, then the polynomial should be, have degrees like this, not 4, right? Do you see? Minus x, right? This kind of a function will be an odd function, right? because all the degrees here are odd. Do you see that? So, but if I write plus 2, then it becomes neither, okay? So that function, if I write like this, will be odd function, right? You see all odd degrees here? So that is how, you know, you can do odd and even functions, both graphically and algebraically. So that's the algebraic solution, and these are graphical solutions. When you draw it, even function will be symmetric about y-axis and odd will be symmetric about the origin, okay? I hope you understand. Thank you.